I still remember the day that President Obama sat me down in the Oval Office and asked me to help lead the foundation that would bear his name. This foundation would be different, he said, with an ambition unlike what others had tried before. So how do you begin a journey like that? How do you start a project whose impact won't be measured in days and months, but in the contributions made by leaders across generations? How do we help young people across this nation and around the world do the very thing that the President and Mrs. Obama have dedicated their lives to, to help change history and help to change communities for the better? Well, we do it together. We do it by mentoring emerging leaders in cities throughout this country, from Columbia, South Carolina, to Phoenix, Arizona, to right here in Chicago. Our Community Leadership Corps program identifies these talented change makers, helps them discover and define their own personal narrative, and helps to transform that narrative from a story of self, from a story of me, to a blueprint for improving their communities, and transfers it to a story of we. Members of the Corps have already founded organizations that are expanding food access in neglected communities. They're encouraging intergenerational connections between young and old, and giving people a broader understanding of the conditions faced by those experiencing homelessness. We do it by gathering international leaders together at roundtables and programs around the world. In Singapore, in Auckland, and Amsterdam, President Obama sat down with regional leaders, engaging them in a conversation about the role they can play in shaping the future of their own communities. And in Johannesburg, we brought together 200 leaders from 44 of the nations on the continent for a multi-day gathering, creating bonds that will last lifetimes in a network that can help strengthen the development of one of the world's fastest growing regions. We do it by working with communities throughout the great city of Chicago as we build the Obama Presidential Center, a historic opportunity to build a world-class museum in a public gathering space that's just steps away from where the Obamas began their work and made their home. Not only will the center generate billions of dollars of economic opportunity and help to reconnect and revitalize historic Jackson Park, it'll also serve as a reminder to young visitors from around the city and from around the world about their potential. When these young people walk through the museum and they see the story of Barack and Michelle Obama, they'll actually see a story of themselves and what's possible and what they can do. The challenges we face today can feel daunting insurmountable even. But we can't solve these challenges unless we solve them together. That approach has been at the heart of everything we've done at the Obama Foundation this year, to inspire and empower and connect young people across this nation and around the world who can come together to change history. We're trying to do something different, but in 2018, we've already made some important progress. As we look to expand this vital work in the new year, we hope you'll play an even bigger role in our future. We hope you'll follow us, engage with us, and look to find ways to improve your own community. The possibility to create lasting change is within each of us. This has been at the heart of what President and Mrs. Obama have always believed, and it's echoed in his farewell address as president when he said, I'm asking you to believe not in my ability to create change, but in yours. So let's continue to do this work together. Thank you. Thank you.